So we've seen the misting flatbed irrigation bed in action and it's working well but uh, no one's got time to go out there and turn that thing on every five or seven minutes and let it go for five seconds. So how do you fix that? Well, you do that with uh, a propagation controller. So I've got a six zone propagation controller here. Um, you can see that it's got uh, valve, duration, days, starts. So you can start it at a certain time of the day, end it at a certain time of the day. And that increments, so I want it to come on every seven minutes for six seconds and uh, you can adjust that as you need to. You could run an entire greenhouse or really multiple greenhouses on this if you wanted to with the six different zone settings. It's got a sensor capability where you can hook up a rain gauge to it and um, you know some other settings for for rain and that kind of stuff where you can just turn it off for the day and start again the next day. So what it does is it controls valves and you know this is the valve here this is a three-quarter valve dc um, so i'll be hooking this up these wires into this box here this has got a key control too so you can sort of lock it if you don't want anyone messing with your stuff and the wires would you know run up through the bottom here you can mount this to the wall and then you'll see the the circuit board in here where you've got um, two 9 volt batteries. This runs battery, which is nice. They're either indoor or they need a continuous power source. And then you've got your, your sensor down here at the bottom, your master valve, and then the six valves that you could run off that. Here we are. It's the next morning. Went ahead and set this up last night. Got it set to come on at eight o'clock every morning done a manual test let's see what happens there it is seven seconds seemed like a little bit more than seven so maybe need to adjust that should be seven seconds every 10 minutes and I've got about 130 cuttings in there and that's not taking up too much real estate so I missed the uh, the I didn't get the video on in time for the the 810 uh, but the advantage of these kind of controllers is that you can be just so custom with the settings you can run it for seconds you know every number of minutes and uh, you know, it just allows you a lot of customization, so. We should be going on here in a second. Now, as you can imagine, you know, when it gets hot during the day, uh, the, those, those cuttings don't have any roots, so they need that evaporative cooling coming off the sand to uh, kind of keep them hydrated and allow them to start forming those roots, which takes two, three, four weeks for most of these. Some, some take even a little bit longer than that.